So welcome back. In the last video, we discovered to our great disappointment that we're not making money on our awesome CD recording. Um, so there goes my rock star lifestyle. But wait, it's okay. I built a really great spreadsheet. And so now I can use the spreadsheet to start altering these numbers to figure out what do I have to do to make sure that we we well even if, if we don't make money at least so that we don't lose money okay and so this is because we built the spreadsheet really really well now we can start doing different things we can talk about changing some of these individual values let's say let's start with let's start with this theremin player okay um since i started working on this budget i real i met i met somebody who's a theremin player and this theremin player told me that he only charges a hundred dollars a song so what am i going to do here i'm going to go ahead and change this to 100 okay and so look I've done this and look what happened everything automatically updates for us do you see that I just had to change one number right here this one number right here and then I was able to just do that one thing and everything automatically updated imagine if you had to do that by hand what a pain that would be and it would be so much information for you to have to keep track of remember we're no good at math in our heads and we're also not very good at keeping track of tons of information in our heads so we let the spreadsheet do that for us so that's super right okay fantastic what else can we do well the other thing that I discovered is that this graphic designer here, um, I don't think I'm going to be able to afford $500 for a graphic designer. I have a friend who's really, really good with graphic design, and she's offered to do it for $350. So I'm going to change that to $350, and that alters a few things, okay? And so you could play around with these different numbers, and you know, let's say that you were working on your own budget. You could play around with the quantities and the cost per, depending, right? Maybe we decide that, oh, you know what? Maybe we get away with just four days in the recording studio instead. We'll just make sure that people are really, really, really prepared and, and are ready to do their work. So I've made some changes there. I've kind of adjusted, you know, and so now I know, okay, we only have four days in the recording studio. We're going to go with that cheaper theremin player. Um, we're going to also go with my friend who's going to do the graphic design for $350. And so now let's scroll down and see what we have. Oh, look at that. Suddenly we've made a profit right? And so that's cool. We were just able to find just by doing using our spreadsheet and by tweaking the numbers and playing with the numbers, we were able to experiment with a few different things. In fact, we're making so much extra money now, maybe we can go back to having, you know, five days in the studio, maybe we don't have to sacrifice that fifth day. And you can look back here and see we're still in the black. Okay, so this hopefully you're starting to realize what a useful tool this is for you to help you make some decisions. Okay, particularly when you're working with budgets now this might not next time you make a spreadsheet it might not be a budget it might be something else but if you build your spreadsheet appropriately if you have the imagination to think ahead as to how you might want to use a spreadsheet then that'll give you the flexibility that'll give you the power later on to just be able to play with the numbers and get answers faster okay and that is where spreadsheets really really shine that's why spreadsheets are so handy and you know we've done all the work we've done all the hard work we wrote all their formulas we put all this stuff in now all you need to do is just edit individual numbers and you can start getting answers for yourself so that is super super cool I'm going to leave this as is for now you can go ahead and play with this some more if you wanted to start changing if you if you thought you know maybe you make more money or less money in your crowdfunding campaign or maybe you think you'll sell more cds or fewer cds or maybe you want to change the cost you know the price per your cd Go ahead and play around with that and see how things change. Um, I'm going to leave it at, as is for now, and then we're going to leave it to one more last bonus round where we're gonna, I'm going to come up with a challenge for you, and we're going to see if you can use the knowledge, use everything that you've learned so far to solve this challenge. Okay, so I'll see you in the next video.